Hey guys, so today I have my June favorites. I, I skip around with favorites a lot. I don't do them every month. I generally don't have a lot of favorites because I do do a lot of swatches. And to be completely honest with you, probably 80 to 90% of the time I'm not wearing polish if I'm not swatching. Which I am trying really, really hard to remedy that because I always go through my polishes and I pick up polish and I'm like, I really, really want to wear this. And then by the time I'm done working on videos for the night, I just want to go to bed. So I don't generally wear polishes as often. However, I do have some favorites. So the first one that I have is the one I'm wearing right now. This is from China Glaze. This is from the Desert Escape Collection. This is Rain Dance the Night Away. I am kind of on a mission to compare a lot of different indie top coats. A lot of times when I get review packages, an indie seller will also send a top coat or a base coat or just something a little bit extra in there. It doesn't really fit into the way I format my swatch videos, so I just end up holding on to it. So I decided I'm going to take all of those, there's like seven or eight of them, and compare them in like a top coat battle. So I'm wear testing them right now. My biggest issue with that is that I have to, I usually end up having to swatch to some degree every single day. So, <laughs> um, what I'm doing is if I get like a little bit of a minor chip, I'm writing down how long it took for the minor chip to happen. I'm going to try to take a picture of it, although I really don't want to because it's usually on my dominant hand, which is usually pretty rough. Um, and then just note that in there. I mean, the, thankfully, I never thought I would say thankfully for this, but thankfully my polish generally does not last even up to 24 hours on my nails. I, they bend, so they tend tends to crack the polish and it chips off a lot easier and I do dishes and, you know, I type a lot at work, and so they just don't last generally very long on me, so I'm not not losing my review process by having to take them off every day. But I wanted to pick a polish, I got totally on a tangent there, I wanted to pick a polish that I could wear multiple times in a row and not get sick of, because I want to wear the same polish, I want to do the same polish, same base coat when I compare all these, so I really am just seeing how the top coat performs. So I picked Rain Dance the Night Away, um, because I really, really like the color, and I always really like wearing blues, and so I could definitely get away with wearing this multiple times over and over again and not get sick of it. I wanted to pick Sally Hansen's Pacifica Blue, but it just feels wrong to use that much of it up. My next favorite is from Illamasqua. This is Noble. I got this off of Holt Look when they went on sale. I think it was the last time they went on sale. I guess I haven't really paid attention since then. Uh, this is a really nice, like, kind of vibrant electric sky blue. Really, really like this. I wore this. This is like the last weekend in May. It was the first time that I wore this, and I really, really liked it. It went on really, really smooth, really nice. Two coats, and it was opaque. Um, it lasted, we went to uh, an amusement park the following day, and it lasted throughout that for the most part. Um, it was just a really great polish. My next favorite is Ready to Rave from China Glaze. This one is kind of a rare occasion for favorites for me. I have worn this like five or six times since I've gotten it. It's on my toes right now, although it needs to be fixed because I put socks on when my nails were still wet. Um, I've worn it on my fingers twice. I've used it in some nail art that turned out terrible, so I didn't actually post any pictures of it. But I really, really like this color. It's as close to a neon red as you can get. It definitely leans orange. If anybody looks at it and asks you about it, they're gonna say it's orange. Deep down in here, I want it to be a red, so that's what I've been calling it, and red is in the name, so that's my justification. But I really, really like this polish. It's super bright, super vibrant. It's completely opaque in two coats. It doesn't need a white base. And it's just a unique color for an orange or as close to a neon red as you can actually get. The next ones are all a combo that I've kind of been wearing together. Last month I did my own Neon Crelly, and I really, really liked it. Now I have... I think I have one from Polish Me Silly that is a neon crelly, so it's neon glitters in a white curly base. But I've kind of been like layering my own and really, really liking it. So I always do the two coats of white. My absolute favorite white is OPI's Alpine Snow. Um, the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in white on is another option if you don't want to spend $9 on a white polish. But that one tends to be really, really thin with a ton of polish dripping down that long stem when you first get it. So it can be a little bit messy. I much prefer that one after it's thickened up a little bit. Um, over that, I put a coat of Clowning Around from Polish Me Silly. This is an old bottle. This is back from when they were Lush Lacquer, which is a neon glitter. These neon glitters are sheer, so they need to go over a light color to really be neon. Kind of the same principles in neon nail polish. And then I've just been putting a crelly or jelly white over top of them. The one that I've been using is Loaded Lacquer's Coconut. Um, Essie's Marshmallow will work as well. Coconut is a little bit more opaque, so you don't generally need two coats like you would if you used Marshmallow. And these three together look really, really nice, so I really, really like that. I've kind of been thinking about um, doing a video where you guys 
tell me a curly polish that you want to see if it can be duped with polishes that you might have in your stash. Does that make sense? Like one of the neon white curly polishes from Polish Me Silly. I would, you know, go through and talk about what polishes you can dupe that curly with by doing like a jelly sandwich with similar glitters. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. I'm not 100% on whether I'm going to do it or not because I really need to have the original polish as well as the, the you know, kind of sandwich together do. That might get expensive depending on what polishes, you know, if I don't already have the polish that someone's talking about in my collection. So I'm thinking about it. Um, if you guys have any polishes that you kind of want to see if I can dupe that way, let me know and I'll, you know, consider doing the video. It's just an idea I had. So those are my June nail polish favorites. I will link Loaded Lacquer and Polish Me Silly down below where you can find the two indies that I talked about. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye. Squawky McSquick. So is my baby. Oh, like my baby. They got fleeced up today and she's not too incredibly thrilled with me.